They make a sound effect. Pow. Oh. Sound like a shot. Sound like a bomb. Hey, oh. Hey, Instagram. It's me, T, from the Patterson. Stepping trains to bed. Hey. It's a Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday means this is like a world politics day, right? Well, I, I do these ramps, that, well, ramps, tees, tirade, we call it every day. Um, and uh, today is uh, world politics. Yesterday was U.S. politics. Uh, Monday was a uh, talk about me. Uh, tomorrow, ah, Thursday, that's audio drama. That's the, that's the thing. That's the one. That's the. That's what I like the best. Uh, Friday is a wrap up. Uh, Saturdays and Sundays is boof, whatever it is. But today is a world politics. Here's what I've been thinking about lately. Oh no, this is what's on everybody's mind all the time: war and rumors of war. And uh, and uh, fear not for atomic energy because none of them can stop the time. Well, it won't stop time, but it might stop a whole bunch of peoples on the planet. Then I got to thinking: who's perpetrating these 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 bombings? These wars, these maneuvers, these whatever you want to call them. And when you look about, when I say perpetrating, I mean people who started it, who continue to push for it. Uh, and it's kind of interesting. Uh, can I just stay with the American presidents for just a, just, a bit, just a while? I went back a long time ago to do them. Let me just start with, the, uh, I guess, JFK. Eh, it's my lifetime. Actually, my lifetime started with Truman. Uh, and Truman, was Truman... <laughs> I don't think I think he may have served something or another, but ah, let's leave Truman out of it for a second. Uh, let, let, let's let, let's go to uh, let's go to Eisenhower. You know he's a he's a oh, oh a general. You know so he knows war. You know and he's he's a military man. Let's put it that way. Then the next you have Kennedy. Kennedy also served military man. Uh, then you go to LBJ. Uh, LBJ I don't think he served anything. He's a mess around with doggy man. You know whatever. He's a politician, uh, and then after that you had, uh, after that you, oh yeah, you had to get Nixon. Nixon, not a military man. Uh, uh, now remember, not I, as I said, these presidents. Remember, they're also the commanders in chief, so they command the, they command the military men. So we have, so now so far we had some military men commanding military men, was trained as military men, others not so much, right, or not at all. So uh, Nixon. No, politician, not a military man, and then I guess he had Ford, but he wasn't really elected president. He was selected to become so. He wasn't elected, so I don't know. He wasn't elected. That's all I got to say. He was selected like like going through the process today. You know, he was put in place. Then he had a guy in back of him that was put into place because they had to get rid of another guy. So basically, so basically during during what we had uh, Ford and uh, and Rockefeller, they weren't they weren't elected to office. They were selected to take places, and then they became whatever it is. So military men are not Joe Ford. Just leave him out of it, right? <laughs> because he wasn't elected. Uh, then after that, okay, she had Jimmy Carter. After that, military man. Uh, then, oh, then you had the slow work. Well, uh, then you had, then you had, uh, now Reagan, uh, World War II, everybody was, well, he really didn't serve. I mean, I think he had something, but he wasn't really a military man. Let's put it that way. He certainly didn't see any fighting. Uh, then after that, you had, oh, then you had uh, George W., Military man, hey, he went through some, he went through some heck, you know. He's like the, the only survivor of this whole thing. You know, people got eaten and all the rest of that stuff. Military man, now he's a military man. He served at CIA too, so yeah. Uh, then after him, you had uh, oh, then you had oh, the disruptor, the, the person that, that that broke the line or whatever it is. Uh, that would be uh, the guy, you know, the uh, uh, Bubba, not a military man. Uh, you might. Say he was an academic. Let's call him a politician. A politician. Then you had, come on, w, then you had Baby Bush. Nah, not a military. I don't know. He, he was, uh, he's not a military man. He may have had some commission someplace, but he's not a military man, right? Uh, then you had Obama. Not a military man. Politician, right? Uh, and after Obama, oh, Trump. Not a military man. <laughs> a businessman. Oh, there you go. So you have basically politicians and military men uh, and then one uh, businessman. Now all of a sudden these people are in charge. Oh, then you have Biden, not a military man. You know, not only is a, uh, not only is a, a pure politician, but uh, a racist. Oh, I could call him a racist because he was raised by racists, racist, you know, sucked on the teats of racists, you know, 
look, the boy a racist, okay? Y'all, y'all love him. Some, some, some people love him. Y'all, y'all can have him, right? So we have a military that's run by racists, or one businessman, politicians, and military men, and military men, right? This is kind of interesting because in the recent years, ever since, I guess if we go, yeah, ever since Bubba, that's a long time. We have, in, 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 that, time, in that time period, if you look at it, all these wars that's happening, uh, they're, 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 perpetrated by not military people, right? If we go on the world stage, we we're supposed to be talking about today, you know, this, uh, what's happening in, uh, and, uh, what, the two biggest ones right now, I mean, I'm not talking about what's happening, all the conflicts that they have where they're, they're destroying people's lives and, and taking over from minerals and all this that stuff, you know, uh, taking over countries and stuff like that. You know, just to the big, two biggest ones. The one in the, with the, with the, with the military, with the, with the, uh, is, is Israeli stuff, right? That boy, not that, 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 that the Yahoo guy, the Yahoo guy, not a military man. Oh, not a military. I know everybody serves in that in that country, but not a military man. I will put him in that category. And then the other guy, the the the, 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 the Ukrainian guy, that was a that was a comedian, a television star, not a military man. So now you have two two of the biggest things in the world. Three, if you if you want to count, the uh, you know Biden, right? Uh, these wars are, that that are about to wipe people out, you know, are perpetrated and orchestrated and continued by not military people. And they control military people. Now you have to understand, at least I know since the 70s, I served in the military in the 70s, that what I realized back then, you know, the the, uh, the military, at least the US military was being highly politicized. In other words, if you was to raise a, the, become the raiser of, of, of the general staff or whatever have you, it was a political, it's really, you, you had to go through a bunch of politics to get to that, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. So basically, I would say since the 70s, I'll do it that since, uh, yeah, yeah, since the 70s, that was Nixon wrong? Yeah, since the 70s, you know, the, 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 the state of at least American politics and perhaps a lot of the world politics are, are not run by military, uh, military people, or wars, not run by military people, but by people who know nothing about the military, have no discipline. Military, what they do give you is discipline, a whole lot of discipline. And, 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 you, and, 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 and you have a, you know what it's like? It's like you learn martial arts or any kind of daily thing. You don't learn it to go kill people or, or beat up on people. You learn it so you have some discipline, so you know the consequences, whatever have you, and then you become disciplined. And, you know, if you ask, I, I remember in my, when I was taking Capoeira, one time they asked the master, uh, uh, Master Jai Rande, he said, um, well, Master, um, what, you know, if you come into a fight in the streets, what, 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 do you, what do you do? And he said, meaning run. You know, so the first inclination of somebody who's who's highly trained is to get out of the situation. You try to uh, try to make sure you don't have to fight. You know, and the first indication of people who don't, don't have that kind of training, their first indication is like, let's fight, cause I'm da 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 da. So we're in the state of the world right now where you have a lot of people who don't know anything about fighting, don't have any discipline, wanting to. Uh, jeopardize other people. It's a sad situation. But hey, what can I say? It's the it's the world you uh it's the world you inherit, it was the world you better do something about. You meaning you and me. Alright, talk to you later.